a uh, Type F Diaphone Foghorn, which was a uh, standard long-range uh, foghorn for the U.S. Lighthouse Service and the Coast Guard. And this makes the single uh, powerful sound. Then when it, when it stops, it makes that grunt, honk grunt. And uh, the way it works is like this. This is an uh, inch and a half automatic valve called the motor drive because it runs what they call the motor. When this when this is pulled pulled up, it enters air into this inch and a half valve and a piston pushes the main disc off the seat and allows airflow to this motor drive. The motor drive drives the piston back and forth, but no noise. And then at the same time, a few seconds later, you get a sample of air comes down this quarter inch tube down to this big four inch valve, which is the speak what they call the speaking function. This is the valve that lets the air in, into the slots in the piston and cylinder that makes the incredible noise. And it, it'll blow as long as this air is going to it. And then you, you move this up or move it down, it shuts it off and it shuts off the uh, motor drive air, which stops the driving of the piston back and forth. But the air is still going to the speaking function through the slots into the piston. And that slows down because there's no air to it going through it anymore. And uh, and when it slows down, it's, it slows down. It makes a low frequency grunt, honk grunt, low frequency grunt. And uh, these were all done automatically at the lighthouse stations. We didn't have to do this. It was done through uh, uh, a solenoid timer, uh, electric solenoid would open this automatically. And uh, these had a very distinguishing sound to them, like no other ship horns. And when the uh, sailors and the ships and the captains heard these fog horns, that, that distinguishing diaphone sound with that grunt at the end, they knew it was a fog horn, and there was either a reef or, a, or the port or whatever they're being warned about. They knew it was a fog horn and not another ship. And later on, they developed what they call the F2T, the two-tone. Same size, same power as this one, but it, it would make that the same sound as this, but then it would go into a low frequency, that B O, the lower frequency. And uh, but these these were used right till the end too, along with the uh, the F2T. And uh, some installations had uh, a Type F which was massive, about twice the size. Not very many installations. The only one that had that was the Farallon Islands off the coast of California. Had a, the set of, uh, of Fs. Was it K. No, not F, K, K. Yeah. And uh, massive sign. They say when it went off, it, the sign was seismic. That's how powerful it was. And that was the only uh, installation that had the Ks. And that pretty much wraps it up. I got a 1,000 gallon tank to blow this thing with. It takes a four inch line, but you can imagine it takes a lot of air, as well as this inch and a half. And I can get a fairly good sized blast from that 1,000 gallon tank through this fall quarter running at full power. And these were good for, on the average, uh, about 30 miles over water, sometimes more, sometimes less, <clears throat> depending on the atmospheric uh, conditions.